hello beautiful and wonderful people welcome back to my channel i'm dojina if you are new to my channel it's so great to have you here in today's recipe i'm gonna share with you how to make fresh fish stew in ghana we call this fancy fancy and it can be eaten with everything with cooked rice cooked yam bangkung normally we eat it with bangkung and guys this is very 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 delicious i hope you're going to give this a try because you love it let's get started so i'll use tilapia and red fish for this recipe as always you can use any fish of your choice so i then added in fish spices ginger garlic dried ginger garlic powder i added it to it and then stir it give it a quick shake cover it with a clean film and then marinate it until it's ready to be used the next thing i'm gonna do the next thing i'm gonna do is to um, blend my veggies which is bell pepper onion abinaro pepper ginger and garlic i'll chop them into smaller pieces and then blend because i'm using hand blender and then you need uh, when you're using hand blender you need it needs a lot of pressure so make sure you chop it into smaller pieces it even helps to blend faster But if you have if you are using the normal blender just chop it into smaller pieces or into chunks and then add it to your blender add in a little bit of water and then blend until it's almost smooth so i'll go ahead and blend mine until it's almost smooth just like so and keep it aside so in the saucepan i'll add in a little bit of palm oil we normally use palm oil for this recipe. I'll then add in the blended onion mix. Stir it. Stir it and then leave it. I'll let this steam for about five minutes and then move to the fresh tomatoes because I'm going to use fresh tomatoes for this recipe. So these are the tomatoes that I'll be using. I'll chop them into smaller pieces, take out the core and then add it to my blender and blend like i said i'm using tilapia and red fish for this recipe but you can use any fish at all you can use mackerel and there's this fish called i think fish no head yes this this is how they call it i don't know the right name you can use that one as well and trust me it's very very delicious <laughs> try it and thank me later so um i blended my tomatoes by then the onion mix has steamed for some minutes I'll add it to it and then stir it. But first, I'll stir it first. I'll give it a quick stir and then add in the blended or the blended tomatoes. So basically, these are the veggies that you be needed. It's uh, it's very very simple making this. You need few ingredients for this recipe, and guys, this it takes few ingredients but yet it's very very delicious it's a simple easy stew no need to fry the fish no need to cook something add everything to it straight to straight and in no time it's ready so i leave it on the fire and let it steam for some minutes until the tomatoes is halfway cooked and then i'll add in the fresh fish This is the point you have to stir it because once you add in the fresh fish when you're stirring it you need to be very very careful because you do not want the fish to get tear so um make sure before you stay close to it and stir it so that it doesn't get burned at the bottom of the pot i'll give it a stir leave it to steam for some minutes and then add in the the rest of the ingredients I'll then go ahead and add in dry shrimp powder. This is the dry shrimp powder that I'm adding it to it. So I almost forgot this this thing. <laughs> I almost forgot. But when you're adding, if you are using the dry shrimp powder, make sure you add it to it before adding in the fish. I was supposed to do that, but I nearly forgot it. Then I remembered that I have to add it. I have to add it to it. So when you're doing it, make sure you add the dry shrimp powder and the vegetable seasoning to the stew first. Stir it and then add in the fish. Because you do not want the fish to get 
it here or something like that so make sure you do that and then let it cook for some minutes finally i added in abinaro pepper and some onion this is it it's it's all you need it and guys this i let this cook for some minutes i didn't stir i didn't stir it that much because i don't want the fish to get here so i didn't stir it that much when i have to stir it i shake i shake it a bit and then you see it starts move so at least it doesn't get banged at the bottom of the pot and when you get to this point it still is ready just let it cook for some minutes more at this point when you are if you're using charcoal like me i took almost half of the charcoal in the pot and then leave it to cook slowly until and then left it to cook slowly until it's ready so like i said by then my banku was preparing and it was ready and i served this with banku it turned out so so delicious i even want to eat this again oh mama mia because <laughs> it's very very delicious i hope you like this recipe and i hope you enjoyed watching it please give me a thumbs up and follow my page bye bye